The big band era started in, in 1936. It was a, 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 a gelling of two different forms, a mixture of the, the Jewish influence and the black influence. People who, who loved the music in the, in the early days are pretty, pretty advanced in age now, but they still remember where they were when they first heard uh, Begin the Begin or Stardust. It's an era which is so rich in nostalgia and so rich in, in, in memory. One day I was standing there listening to the music and I was really excited about, about big bands. I was, I was 17 and, uh, and my, my companion was the was same, same age. He was 17 as well. And I said, I want to start a big band and just like that. And he said, can I be in it? And I said, what do you play? He said, nothing right now. So I said, get a horn. What will you get? And he said, I think I'll get a trumpet. So um, he got himself a trumpet and he became my first trumpeter in my first big band. They're all high school chamas. They were, these two were East End boys, East Enders who heard about the band in the West End and wanted to join it. We were not the best band in the world, but we were be the best dress band in the world. We had uh, white jackets and black shirts, and uh, we played the, the summer circuit. What do you think it is about that music that's made it timeless? Oh, I think it's partly memory, partly nostalgia. Uh, I think that that's, that's what keeps it going.